Can we get kinky tonight? Hey, I got so many things on my mind. I never seen a girl so fine. I like it when you do me, do me. Hey, can we get kinky tonight? I got so many things on my mind. I never seen a girl so fly. I like it when you do me, do me. Hey, baby, baby. It's to be Tuesday, so sit here while I review this movie. So, can we get kinky tonight? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Let me stop playing. This is Ty. I am here. It's to be Tuesday. Yes, it is. I am here to review a Tubi movie. Y'all know every Tuesday I pick a movie from the Tubi app to review, and today's movie is a kinky one, that's why I was singing that song. Can we get kinky tonight? Because I know that's corny. Y'all know how I am. I'm corny. But before I get into this review of the movie Safe Word, I need to give a shout out to my lovely subscribers that hold me down in the comment section. I'm talking about Lamont Simpson, Savannah Rivers, Amore, Kryptonian Black, CG, June, Stephanie C, Quiet Guy, Randall Brown, Simply Be Yourself 100, Karima Khadija, and all the rest of you. So thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. That's all you gotta do. Just like that. Just hit it. And you'll see more videos from me. <laughs> I know. But the name of the movie is Safe Word. And let me tell you, this one was interesting. I, I, I've got to tell you. Now, who's in this? It stars a young man by the name of Gavin Houston. And you may be familiar. You may look at him and say, this dude looks familiar. He's playing Ethan, a young attorney who was into kinky stuff. He meets this young lady named Colette, uh, played by Mariah Brown. Now, Gavin Houston, I recognize him from one of them Tyler Perry shows. I think it was Have and Have Not, because I had a friend that, my friend that used to watch that all the time, and he was on that, I believe so. But so anyway, he's playing this young, successful lawyer. Uh, he's got it all together. It opens up with him and Colette him bumping into her and spilling juice or something on her and then it gets all her blouse and she's like, oh, she's upset. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Come, I live right across the street. You can clean up right there. And then she goes in the bathroom and, at his house. And I was like, okay, that's a little unrealistic. Who the hell going to your house? I don't know you, man. But then when he gets, when she gets in there, they lock eyes and then just start having sex. And I was like, oh, okay. This was a kink. This was a, a role plan that they were doing. I said, okay, you know, you got to spice it up. So I said, okay, so they're a couple and doing this role playing thing. But he seems like this nice guy and he's spinning on her, giving her, buying her outfits and this, that, and the third. She works as a real estate, uh, at a real estate firm, it seems, and has clients and things. But she's falling for him and getting kinky with him doing all these things and she tells her friend Langley who's her best friend and co-worker about him and you know the co-worker's excited oh girl you did this you did that you know they start as the relationship progresses it kind of moves fast um he took her down to this kinky what do you call it sex club I guess and they got freaky and kinky it was people with masks and whips and chains and all this stuff stuff I don't know about because I'm a virgin hey but you know, <laughs> but anyway, stuff y'all ignore me. So stuff like that, just all this kinky stuff, and then moving real fast. But she tells her about it, and he says, "Listen, when we want to get into all this kinky stuff, you know, like tying you up and whipping you and all that, if it gets to be too much, we use our safe word, and our safe word is red. That means stop, because you know this. This is listen. That hot wax is a little too hot." Them chains is loose, so I hear, you know, it's too hot, it's too much, you don't do do not do that, don't whip me, don't, you know, all that. I guess that's what all that's about. So that's why the movie is called Safe Word, because they're safe, you know, they have a safe word from when they're getting kinky, and when it's getting a little out of hand, and it's time to stop. But Ethan, as time goes on, you realize he is really controlling, and he's a whiny, overly sensitive jerk. I hated Ethan. I was so annoyed with him. He was whining and just whining just to, yeah, 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 yeah. He just reminded me of, oh my God, he just reminded me of, I was like, oh my goodness. And uh, a little backstory on Colette. She has some 
anxiety and mental issues. And he plays on that a lot with her. But anyway, like I said, he convinces her to do get into all his kinky stuff and all that. And when he doesn't get his way, he whines and cries and bitches and moans, which is very annoying. So anyway, things are moving fast. They elope. They get married. They get this beautiful house. And he meets her mother. Um, and he meets Langley. I think that was her name. Langley or Langley, her best friend. And they're having a little small conversation. They mentioned something about getting her a bachelorette party or throwing up. And he storms off. He's pissed off. He's so sensitive. And at first I thought he was pissed off because at his job, his boss at his job told him, you know, what are you doing getting married and no prenup, this, that, your partner here. And she was really upset. And I'm like, okay, maybe he was upset about that. So he tells Colette, he's like, oh, why would they say they want to give you a bachelorette party? He just whined about everything. Then, you know, they got married. Like I said, they're married now into the marriage he decides he wants to have this little dinner party um and he decides to have this dinner party and he brings out over his other friend and her friend her best friend is in her best friend mentioned langley mentioned that colette said oh yeah y'all are into all this kinky stuff how did you get colette to do that and having threesomes and all this other stuff and sex parties and all this stuff that y'all going to and of course he's upset again oh boy and then he found out that her and her best friend they wanted to open up their own firm oh you planning things without me he was just so manipulative and mentally abusive it was annoying me oh you planning things without me oh why did you tell her about our, what we do in the bedroom that was supposed to be between she's like listen that was my best that's my best friend and she was basically bragging on you so what are you so mad well he was mad i just thought things like that like our safe word and all that would be between the two of us yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's all he did through the whole movie is nag and i was like yeah something wrong with this dude and then it's, it got really good they went to Club Kinky, that's what we're going to name it, Club Kinky, and there was this other server there, and the server kept staring at them. I said, something going on here. What's going on with this server? And then she approached um, Colette and was like, is that your boyfriend? And she's like, that's my husband. She said, Ethan's your husband? Then he pulls her away. He tells Colette that old girl, her real name is Fiona, and she he had a restraining order against her because she was you know, psycho and crazy. And when she, when uh, Colette mentions this to her best friend, as she said, yeah, I had a threesome and this, that, and the third. And then this girl at work there was his psycho ex. She's not buying it. She's like, mm, I don't know about that. You know, they always calling people crazy. And you know, that's, that might not be the case. Sometimes it is the case though. Sometimes it is. Cause I don't, wait, we ain't gonna make this about me making this about me but there's some crazy ones out there so i didn't agree with the friend who was like no they not crazy you gotta no 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 some of y'all are crazy some of y'all are but in this instance it was the dude that was crazy in this instant it was the dude that was crazy so she does start doing some digging of her own then um what else happened he took her back down to the kinky shop or whatever oh that lawyer the the her, his boss at the law firm tells him she was upset when she finds out that fiona's loose go take care of it. so she sends his friend down there to take care of it and fiona jacked him up that was easy i was like oh so much for him coming to help she jacked him up so now we go back to the kink house the you know you getting real and he ties colette up and colette is like no, let's stop, let's stop. But you see, he told her, and I knew something. I saw a red flag when he told her, you know what? We don't need no safe word no more. That means you could do all this dominant stuff. And when I say the safe word, ain't no safe word. So you're just going to keep going. That's dangerous. And he was like, listen, that's what we're going to do. So that's what he did. He had a tied up. She was nervous. He's like, relax, baby. She's like, no, I really don't want to do this. No, no, no. And homeboy's like, no, we still going through with this. And she yelling and said, red, red, red. I'm like, did you change the safe, the safe word? And then he's pissed off about that. And he just starts ragging on her about she makes everything about her. And she uses her mental health as an excuse. He just 
gaslit her. He just manipulated her, made her feel so bad. He was talking down to her. She tries to tell a friend about it. Now he got homegirl at work shaking and carrying on. She can't work. She can't eat. She can't drink. She can't sleep. All this stuff. Then homeboy, I, I knew he was crazy. It was a thing when he got mad when he she didn't he didn't want her to take medication to her mother. Oh, just he just little petty things bothered him. The pudding she made, the this, the that. It was just like craziness. So anyway, he ends up taking her to another one of his homes, a secluded home or whatever. She's away from the family. She's missing and all this stuff. And her homegirl, Langley, is like, something is wrong. So Langley gets, decides to go down to the kinky club and ask around, looking for Fiona. She meets Fiona, finds out Fiona has his friend in the trunk and said, we can find out where he is. They go to the place to confront him. Um, Langley's like, let's call the police. Fiona's like, no, we don't need to do that. What we need to do is handle this ourselves. And so she calls the police. Nothing really happens, blah, blah, blah. Langley goes to the door, knocks on the door. Ethan opens the door. She says, where is she? I know she's here. He said, I told you she ain't here, ho. Grabs her up, choking her up. He's choking her out. And then that's when um, Fiona comes and hits him with the crowbar and damn near killed him. Now they have the advantage. Now they, they got him in the house and now they're trying to get him to confess because homeboy even was trying to get a conservative ship put out. And when he put one out, he was going to really keep this girl tied up in the house in the next the summer home or whatever it was. Keep Colette tied up prisoner and serve her and all this other stuff. He was weird. He was nuts. He was crazy. And so come to find out, his boss got cameras all through the house. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And we find out that it's a bigger picture. That law firm that he works for is also connected to the kinkiness and they have all this power and they, they control the law firm, the law, apparently they control the police department, all these crazy things. And I was like, this is interesting right here. This is interesting. So they got him in the house now. They cuff him to the thing, whatever, and they want to get this confession. Fiona's like, nah, we got to do more than that. Colette took her muscle relax and gave him that. So he can't move. He can't do nothing. So it really wasn't action, but it was still good. There was no, you know, I like the bam, bam, bam tussle. I thought there was going to be chase scenes and falling down stairs and all. They didn't do all that. But they, it still was a very interesting and entertaining film. And I'm like, I was invested because I'm like, where is this going? Where is this going? You know, it was fun. You know how these Tubi movies are fun. These are just lighthearted fun. So now they're doing all this, this, that, and the third and Fiona wants to just kill him. She wants to torture him. They're like, no, that's not the way. Let's call the police. So they end up giving her muscle relaxer. She passes out. Here comes the police. But the police wasn't really the police, y'all. The police was part of that mysterious group that likes to get kinky and run the town and run the neighborhood and, do, and be a law firm at the same time. And so they take... Um, Fiona, and they take Ethan into custody, well, really in custody, and that's when the young ladies realize she never took our statement. Fiona's trying to tell him, no, that ain't this. don't trust it, don't trust it. Poor Fiona gets killed. At the end of the film, we see that the boss, the law firm boss, she's the head mistress of this kinky thing, and she told him, you don't know how to play right. Submissive, but they have you have to have their permission. And you've been messing up. You don't know how to be dominant. You are submissive. And she puts the, some kind of mask on him and she's pulling him up. And it ended like that. I don't know if she killed him or she's torturing him. I don't know. But I was invested. And I was like, whoever wrote this, we need a part two. Because I, I have some questions about some things. Why? What's going on? Yeah, I need, I need to know more. Maybe they need to do another chapter. Because this was interesting. It was really interesting. But that's it, y'all. If y'all haven't watched that, check it out. Tell me your thoughts on it if you have watched it. It was kinky. It was, it was interesting. Well acted because I did dislike him. So that's good because you made me dislike. And I was invested in this poor Colette trying to figure out how she was going to get out of this. And that little twist that I didn't see coming. I was like, okay, so they, they kind of tie that into this whole thing, this whole kinky, kinky world. So it was like a, I don't know what would you would compare this to. It was like a thriller with a, what was that movie that came out a few years ago, Eyes Wide Shut, or was it that? Or um, 
one of those movies that was about kink and all that stuff, they kind of had that mixture. I don't know if it was Eyes Wide Shut. I might be saying the wrong name, but it kind of had that mixture going on for itself. Um, but, you know, it was, it was, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this Tubi movie. So that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and I will see you all when in the next video.